The sun has set on an epic day three here at X Games Aspen, but we're just getting started as we introduce you to a brand new X Games event. It's the Wendy's Snowboard Knuckle Hunt. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham alongside the pro, Craig McMorris, and of course, the third member of our team, DC, out on the course. Craig. What the heck is this thing? Well, I could explain this event, but let's hear it from the riders. This is the Wendy's athlete profile. What is Knuckle Huck? Knuckle, you know, it's kind of like one of those things that it's about creative and, you know, you could go all crazy, you could do stylish stuff. Knuckles are always just pretty fun to do just because there's not a ton of risk, but they're just fun little little poppers to hit. Knuckles are just like kind of unexpected because they're just there all the time, but when people go off them doing cool tricks, like everyone's minds just get blown because it's just so new, so fresh. Knuckles are so relatable. They're at every resort. People like Marcus Cleveland and stuff just started chucking off them, and now it's at X Games. Any mountain in the world has like some pitch that you could do knuckle tricks, so don't need a jump to actually do a trick. It'll be a fun contest to watch, 100%. Can't wait to see what the boys throw down. So something so simple, so innocent, that all the riders would just be doing for fun at any contest, at any shoot, oh backcountry, oh, is now God. a full-fledged event here at X Games. I love it. I like what Sage said. It's so oh, yeah. relatable. And speaking of Sage, I think we have a little video uh, from his Instagram. This is just last night in training, followed by Gimbal God here. This is a very nice backflip. That oh. is what Wendy's <laughs> Knuckle Huck is all about. And how about Sage Kotzenberg? We haven't seen him on the X Games stage almost three years now. He wanted to come back because we brought this event out. How great is that? So let's take a look now at our start list for the night. We've had some unfortunate dropouts due to some injuries and other things, but these are our nine contenders. Some heavy hitters. And I like the uniqueness of this yeah. event because it brings unique riders. Kevin Backstrom, I mean, Sage Consenberg, guys that we don't usually see at X Games, they get to come to Aspen and show their stuff. Kevin Backstrom has never competed at X Games. No, first one, rookie. Speaking of rookies, how about 15-year-old Jake Cantor? out of Silverthorne, Colorado. He was born in 2003, the year after X Games made its Aspen debut. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may have watched Big Air only last night. This is almost the exact opposite. This gives you the least amount of air, but you still want to do the sickest tricks. Yes, wow. Jake. And if you hear the crowd <laughs> getting pretty loud, it's because Jake is a member of the Aspen Valley Ski and Snowboard Club. One of their own here, going cab one on the flat part of the knuckle. And then watch him just pop off that front foot, almost Murphy flip, if you will, into that backside 720. And, it, and he's kind of flipping and not spinning as much. That's why I call it a Murphy flip. So it's a 20-minute jam session. They'll try to get in as many runs as they can. A lot of people have been asking us all week, Brando, Craig, how are the judges scoring this thing? And the honest-to-goodness answer is, we have no idea. We don't know. Who can do the coolest, the most creative, go far down the knuckle, make it look really, really enjoyable to watch? I feel like those are the only criteria. Other really interesting thing of note that was so steezy from Judd Hank is ollieing so early and then just drifting over that knuckle there. One thing of note, no silver, no bronze, only gold in this event. A one golden knuckle. So Judd Hank is getting his first run in. And here we see Kevin Backstrom. Innovative Swedish rider and uh, hard to believe X Games rookie. Had a great year in 2018. It was the star of the Transworld film Future of Yesterday. And that kind of broke the internet. One video of the year. And rightfully so. Kevin Backstrom, so, so stylish. Let's take another look at this. Kind of frontside 360, and he drags that back foot there. 
flies off, and Spencer waiting in the background. <laughs> Kimball got almost losing it. Wow, Kevin Backstrom going all the way down that landing. Frigidov, uh -oh. Sailor, Tischendorf, a.k.a. Fridge, a.k.a. the guy with the backpack. We've seen him in big air. We've seen him in slope style eliminations. Now we see him in the Wendy's knuckle hunt. Watch for a really cool hand drag from the big fridge here. There it is, grabbing it and sending oh it all the way down. And you see that thing dangling off of his backpack? That is actually a speaker. And what's very cool about the fridge is every single time we've seen him this weekend, it's always a completely different song. Some riders only drop in if the right song is playing. Fridge, he's kind of on iPod shuffle all the time. I think it's been classic rock all week. It has been a lot of Tom Petty. Deep cuts, too. Deep cuts of Tom. Sage Kotzenberg, two-time X Games medalist, a slope style silver, a big air bronze. He is hyped for this event as he makes his return to the X Games stage. He's been killing it on social media here. That back with that huge all in. Oh! There it is. Oh! All the way to the bottom and almost loses it. I love this backflip because it looked like he's almost going to land switch. He kind of has it the whole way. And right before he lands, he kind of brings his feet back to that regular stance, right foot forward. But here's a great look at it. Look at the amount of real estate he travels, Craig. Big old backflip shifty. Who wants to see me do a big trick? <laughs> That's what he was thinking right before he dropped in. Here's Nick Bain, <laughs> 21 years old. This is his third X Games appearance. Coming in switch. Here's that cab one. Big back uh, five, and that was almost the entirety of the landing. He almost went flat to flat. Didn't catch any downslope there. Of course, Nick winning the Style Master Award at Danny Davis's Peace Park just a couple of years ago. And rightfully so, the ending part of Snowboarder Meg's beta. If you haven't had a chance to check out that snowboard movie, you really should, because Nick Bain's part is exceptional. He's an alpha in the beta. Rene Rinnekongas, who's having a better X Games Aspen 2019 than this 19-year-old? Can I answer that? Go for no it. No one. Literally no one. A silver medal earlier today in slope style. Great showing in big air last night. Whoa! Hand dragging. It looked like he was going to go hand drag back three, but he saves it and holds it to switch. That is so difficult because all the momentum wants you to ring and finish that 360. Here's a good look at it. I hope, Craig, that this contest ends in time for him to make his sound check for his band Catfish's big show tonight. Their American the debut, party. the first Catfish show on American soil. Aspen is literally going to explode. Mons Roisland was absolutely incredible today in slope style. He was so very close to winning the whole event on his very first run. We hadn't seen that since 2010, but Mark McMorris and Randy Renacongas changed that in that their third stunning. runs. But I love this little turtle roll. So watch how he starts the rotation on his back. And he's still got about 10 feet, Craig. You got to carry so much speed right here. But he commits to the grab and then starts flying. Oh, very cool for Mons Roisland. Under 15 minutes to play with here. Red Gerard dropping in. Oh, Wendy's tweet coming in. Six double Baconator backside court 1969. Right off the knuckle hook. I think they're taking liberties with the, the name calling. <laughs> but hey, we've never done it in X game, so I guess you can make up some names too. The 1969, I like that. <laughs> Red Gerard had quite the showing in men's slope yeah, style really today. I, I thought he had such a creative run in run number one, but he just didn't really get that score. He went back up there and kept the creativity, but pumped up the technicality, which is so much easier said than done. And we're right back to the top here on the Wendy Snowboard Knuckle Hug. Jake Cantor, the youngest competitor in our field tonight. Only 15 years old. Isn't it trippy when you hear people say their age and it's like 2003, 2004? <laughs> what were you doing in 2003? Uh, trying to get through like Algebra 2 in high school. 
like the second time you had to yeah, take algebra? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, this was second <laughs> summer school. Uh, hey, while we're uh, joking, let's bring in uh, DC, the third member of our team. DC, what's the vibe like out there? Hey, guys. Yeah, the vibe is awesome out here. So lighthearted right now. Everybody's having fun. We got Judd Henkis coming in right now to the knuckle. All right, just penguin sliding down the landing. That's going to be a crowd favorite. But yeah, good times down here. We got Haley Langling, Julie Marino, and uh, let's see, Brock Crouch with some very entertaining signs over here right now. Hey, uh, DC, Jake Cantor being the local boy, the crowd seems to get super loud when he drops in. Is that the case on site as well as it is here in the booth? Yeah, definitely. Crowd is getting hyped on Jake Cantor, local boy. And what a way to start your X Games career with a lighthearted event like the Wendy's knuckle huck. No stress on young Jake Canner. Of course, never really stressed with him because, you know, he's just always having fun. I could see him ride all the time back in Summit County. That kid just loves snowboarding. And you know, Kevin Backstrom coming through again. So stoked having him out here. What do you guys think of Kevin's performance yeah, so far? Yeah, it's really amazing to see him and his style out here. So, DC, obviously, we don't know any of the scores yet. Are you able to come pull the crowd right now and get a feeling for uh, who the fans think is winning this thing thus far? I could totally do that for you. You guys want me to pull the crowd? And Absolutely. See All right. Well, uh, let me ask some of the uh, contingency out here in the mix. Hey, uh, Jules Marina, what do you think? Any uh, favorites personally so far? Oh, my um, God. <laughs> well, France just sent the entire landing, but I think the most creative thing I did was Mons, his little, like, Butt butter spin to like 180 out. I don't know. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, the butt butter 720. We'll say Haley Langley. What do you got? Any favorites out here so far? Uh, I think Judd was killing it with that penguin slide all the way down the landing. That was pretty cool. It's very subjective, guys. What everyone's gonna like out here. So enjoy the show. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys take the call here as we got uh, Mr. Sage Kotzenberg. Yeah. Thanks, DC. And. Before we come back to you, can you do us a favor and do something that no one else has been able to do? At yeah, what's some that? point during this contest, can you ask Fridge what's in his backpack? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I do have an update for what was playing off his backpack oh, on yeah, his first please. run. Awesome, thank you. A little heart crazy on you. Wow. It's the, it is. It is that classic rock that 70s we 70s and 80s rock yeah, for I Fridge. Mean. I love it. Thank you, DC. My pleasure. Nick Baden. And it looked like Red Gerard was kind of following. He is following him. So we're going tandem now in the Wendy's Knuckle there Hut. There are no rules in the Wendy's Snowboard Knuckle Hut. Great. One rule. Oh, Whoa. Nick Baden going all the way down. One rule. There is no rules. Have as much fun as you possibly can. One Do rule about Wendy's Snowboard Knuckle Hut. You don't talk about the Wendy's <laughs> Snowboard Knuckle Hut. Clearly, you've been talking about the Wendy's Snowboard Knuckle Hut. I mean, it's hard not to when people are doing back fives oh, all the way down. Oh, my goodness. And that little backside 180 hand drag from Red Gerard following Nick Baden. This has been an amazing event so far. It's so fun to watch. Like, it's so lighthearted, and I think we're joking around and everything, but what these guys are doing right now is so uber impressive. And what I love about this is if you are near a ski resort, go to your ski resort tomorrow. There is going to be a bump. You can try all these tricks. It's the most relatable event X Games has seen in a very long time. It should be noted as well that I think the origins of this event really harpen back to Marcus Cleveland. Yes. And, and it's unfortunate yes. that the gnarly injury, the broken kneecap, is keeping him out of here because we're calling it the Wendy's knuckle hug. We could have easily called it the Wendy's Marcus Cleveland invitation. Absolutely. I mean, he has made these knuckle tricks so famous on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, all of the above, because he is just constantly reinventing what you can do with just a little bump of snow. Hopefully he's watching. We're thinking about you, Marcus. Heal up and can't wait to see you at the next X Games. So here's Jake Cantor, run number three, under 10 minutes here in the knuckle hug. Jake Cantor really doing the 180, 360 into the rotation. Love that snap, though. And it's so funny how people approach this. You know, some people are kind of doing what Jake Cantor is doing, uh, lots of spins off it, and some people are just straight up doing hand drags. Everybody's got such a unique style and a unique approach here. We got a Wendy's tweet. Frozen? No, that was Frosty. The world's best are sending it off the knuckle hook. Hashtag X Games. Are you following Wendy's? You should. I am now. One of the best followers on Twitter. There's Judgy. Jet Lee going. 
front one in, switch back side. Judd, by the way, uh, only getting into this contest because your younger brother, Mark McMorris, pulling out. So Judd gets to reap the benefits of that. And I think that was a good decision from Mark. We saw in that second of three runs, I mean, he took a slant. Like, he fell extremely hard. So uh, maybe it's time to rest the body there for the kid. And Kevin Backstrom, he's taking that 360 approach. He's done a 360 where he kind of dragged the back foot, done a 360 where he kind of dragged the front foot, and that one he kind of nose taps the knuckle with the 360 as well. Here's Fridge. I ask you, Craig McMorris, when you see a knuckle, whether you're filming or just out riding yep. on a regular session Tuesday, yeah, yeah. what's your go-to trick off a knuckle? I really like front flips, front flip variations, and I really like the back flip hand drag from the fridge <laughs> right there. Loving the claim. Are you not entertained, Aspen? This event was really, we talked about Marcus Cleveland, uh, his fellow countryman, the fridge. Oh my. Whoa. His head was six inches. And how about inches. that speaker just staying on the backpack? No problem. Some sort of car carabiner apparatus there to keep that thing on. Here's Sage Kotzenberg for his third attempt. Looked like he was going to drop in switch. That psychs us out here. He did a front side 720 hand drag oh and my. cleans it up here. I love, I love when it's a jam format like this and we don't see the scores. It's kind of the judges just have everybody's name and they're kind of putting ticks beside who they like. Whoever has like the most ticks, who's ever been the most impressive, they get to walk away with the next game's gold. And I believe it's not like the other medals. I believe it is uh, gold An knuckles. actual knuckle. Yeah. Here's Nick Baden. And to your point, we've never done this before. So we talk about the subjectivity of judges. You're just seeing nine riders out here with nine completely different approaches. Like Nick Baden just air mailing an ollie all the way down to the bottom. Rene Renekangas. Six minute mark. Now, you got to wonder if he's going to be dizzy coming in this knuckle after that. I am. <laughs> Cap oh! 540, and that was precision. We've seen a couple guys go all the way just a little bit too far, not be able to hang on. Rene Renekong has caught the very last board length of landing he had possible. This is a low-key hammer. This is. It really, really is. That kind of fakey takeoff all the way down. Boom. He's got so much energy, and I am jealous of it. So here's Mons Roisland. Had an epic showing in slope style, and I think he's just getting started, Craig. His best days are really in front of him. I mean, three years ago, bronze medal for the young Norwegian, and then obviously quite a showing today. I think he's starting to taste right. what it takes to actually be on the podium. I think three years ago, it was a little bit of, uh, you know, like a realization. It's like, whoa, I could do this. And then it takes some work, and it takes some time to climb back up there. So here's Red Gerard. Frontside 180, it looked like he was almost going to try and bring that back, a little rewind. The remix? Bring it back. <laughs> remix. Re re I feel like this event, if somebody's doing a rewind or a remix, there should be like the horns. You know when the horns? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> somebody Jake should be able to do cancer. sound drops on this event. I was just about to say, I think you brought up the word precise with yes. him last run, and that's so true. It's so controlled, his riding. There's good reason that he's member of the U.S. snowboard team, the rookie squad, in both half pipe and slope style. Here's Judd Hanks. Coming in switch here. Wow, all the way to the bottom, that kind of fakey 720. I say fakey. He's coming in switch, right? Opposite way of riding, but then pops off his front foot. 
doing a 7.20, two full rotations. Kevin Backstrom really taking his time, collecting himself up there. Left foot forward, really opting for those front side 360s. Oh, he was going board side pretzel and then said, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep it here. Now, We're Brandon, the three minute mark partner, what do you got for me? I was just gonna say, um, the fridge. I think, I think after this one, we gotta go down to DC because I just can't wait any longer. I wonder if he has some intel for us. Sounds like a plan. What's Fridge got for run number four? <laughs> I thought he was going front side 720 hand drag. No one is flying quite like Fridge off of this knuckle. <laughs> So that backhand reaches, still spinning two full 360s. Wow. Why grab? It's attached to your feet, man. Board's attached to your feet. Well, let's go back down to DC. We're getting close to the two minute warning. What you thinking, man? Thanks, guys. Yeah, oh, Fridge right now got some Steve Miller band playing. Previous run, it was Tom Petty learning to fly and uh, asking him uh, what's in the pack. And, you know, he said that's for later. So we'll see whether wow. he means later at the end of this contest, later after this next run, or later tonight when we're watching Catfish play. Well, we'll have to find out about that. <laughs> Thank you, you guys DC. doing all right up there? Yeah, we're good. I, I just hope that he's not blowing you off. Really hold him to it if he says later. When is later? <laughs> Sage Kotzenberg, run number four. The Steve, return of Sage. Steve Miller band, Tom Petty, the Fridge. I mean, he's just classic, classic rock, man. And Sage Kotzenberg, big old Ollie there. The Park City, Utah kid. We move on to Nick Baden out of Steamboat Springs, Colorado. It's his third X Games appearance, looking for that first medal could it be a gold knuckle now Brandon with only a minute and 35 seconds left who has been the most impressive to you I'm gonna have to go with either fridge or Mons Royson okay how about yourself well I really like this rider right here Rene Renacongas he's been Explosive, poppy, fun to watch. Hitting the knuckle very, very differently every single time. Oh! Yeah, and you know what? I have to think about that. It's a body of work in this jam session, true, isn't it? True, true. You got to celebrate their, whole, their yeah. entire collection. Celebrate his entire catalog. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I think that different approach every single time is actually going to serve him well with the judges, Rene. Here's Mons Roisland. Brought that turtle roll and the front side 720 hand drag right there. From Mons Roisland. Less than a minute to go here in the Wendy Snowboard Knuckle Hug. Thanks for keeping it 100 fresh. Never frozen, homies. Until next time, we're signing off from the Knuckle Hug at hashtag X Games. Thank you, Wendy's. Thank you for the event and thank you for lunch today. And thank you for tweeting, you know, throughout the entirety. I love the conversation because we're having a fun conversation and so is Wendy's. You can too, at us. Okay, so the clock's about to strike zero. So you might be saying, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. They're done, they're done. Wait, Jake's gonna get one extra run. No, everyone's going to get a final run. So just chill out. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Backside 1080 from Jake Cantor. No jump required. Just needs a flat surface. Look at the torque he takes into this thing. This is so impressive. Three, five, seven, nine, ten hundred and eighty degrees of rotation from the 15-year-old all the way down this big air landing. Well, that's a way to end it if you're a 15-year-old making your X Games debut. Here's Judd Hankus. How's he gonna follow a 1080? 
big old ollie all the way down. He's going the distance. <laughs> he was going for speed, too. Uh, that's so fun to do. If you've ever just gone really fast and done an ollie all the way down the knuckle, you'll get it. You'll get why these guys are doing that. It is one of the best feelings. And it's always so terrifying because you don't really know where you're going to end up. Such a flat takeoff. Here's Kevin Backstrom's last run of the night. There was that board oh, side oh, pretzel. Oh. Fridge. Looks like he's getting that final track ready. Any predictions on this one? I bet you he goes back to heart. Maybe goes Barracuda. That would be an absolute banger. If you aren't dropping into Barracuda on your last and final run. I mean, that's what I would do anyways. What about you? Um, I would go Mick Jagger featuring Michael Jackson's State of Shock. <laughs> Dude, you would. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, Craig, you just like, expect me to sit here and act like a human being didn't just fly? Like, literally, he was listening to Tom Petty learning to fly earlier, obviously inspiring this front side 720. And he almost does a full 360. Oh, but he didn't he even. He put his hand down and he never actually touched the ground. That was wild. <laughs> Sage Katzenberg here in Aspen, competing for the first time since 2016. Similar to Fridge's front side 720 hand drag, but Fridge was dragging his back hand. He was almost doing a full 360 then drag. Sage dragging the front hand on that front side 720. There's Fridge and Sage. A lot of high fives down here tonight. A lot of high fives, a lot of smiles. Nick Baden. Oh, my. He's fired up. Oh, wall ride. Oh, whoa, whoa. On the Harley Davidson side. Ooh. Cap one, backside 540. He was, he was visibly fired up. That was a follow cam right there. Yeah, we talk about being figuratively fired up. He was literally screaming at Gimbal Gun. Rene Rinazengus <laughs> taking a unique approach. Coming in switch here. Oh! oh! That's what I'm talking about. We need the remix horns right there because it looked like he was going to finish that cap five, but he just said, nope. Always the, uh, a wild card. Bass players are always wild bass cards. Yeah. You always tell me that, Greg. I do. I actually have shared that with you a number of times. But look at him bring it back. He has to fight it and use all the hip torsion he possibly can to get it back. Quick and also, hips. yeah, I mean, bass players have great hips, yeah, too. Yeah. Mons Roisland. Show us what you got, young man, because you've had yourself quite an X Games thus far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. We talk about lay backs a lot, but we don't talk about lay fronts a lot. And that was the other hard thing, too. We had never called an event like this, so a lot of these tricks are kind of, they don't really have names, you know? So we're kind of just describing what we see, and I really liked what I just saw. Well, I know you've been busy with your real part, yep. which we'll get to a little later, but Thank I've actually you. been doing demos and simulations with Wendy's for the last eight months for this event, so oh, okay. this is actually nothing new for me. I apologize, yeah, and fun. I will never question, question your knowledge ever again. How is real snow going, by the way? Thank you for asking. It's going very, very good. And, I mean, we've talked about so many activations here at X Games, Zoom, you know, all the sponsor, Village, all that kind of stuff. X Games Real Series has been celebrating its 10 years. So not only do we have these awesome events televised, there's so much other other X Games properties that you can uh, check out. All right. Everybody has completed their final runs. And we are being told now that our boy, Fridge, has won it. Fridge! I don't think he knows that he won yet. Or maybe he's that cool, calm and collected. Fridge is off. Sailor Tischendorf out of Norway yeah. is your inaugural <laughs> Wendy Snowboard Knuckle Huck winner. Oh my 
goodness. Let's send it down to DC, who's with Fridge. Thank you guys very much. Well, for the inaugural Wendy's Knuckle Huck, Fridge, you're the recipient of the Golden Knuckles, one of the most coveted medals out here at X Games Aspen. What do you got to say about tonight? Dude, definitely not a contest vibe. The most fun I've ever had, for sure. So sick. So many good riders. I don't know what to say. I'm super pumped. Well, we're pumped for you. Thanks for having a good time and showing us what snowboarding's all about, buddy. Congratulations, Fridge. Hopefully, we can find out what's in the pack later. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Congratulations. Back to you guys. What a man of mystery, and now he's got the golden knuckle hug. What an inaugural event. That was so fun. I didn't know what any of the tricks really were going to be called, but I had a blast calling it, Brando. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in for the Wendy's Snowboard Knuckle Hug.